For Staff Sergeant Christina Taylor, her second deployment was the hardest. The everyday things that everybody you take for granted here, you don't you don't get to see them, the little things, the medical, the, the school. Okay. Well, I'm walking slowly. Keep them away from the window. I'm getting ready for first days or last days, dances. Um, you get to see it through pictures and video, and it's not the same um, as being there, part of it. You make it through and you do the best you can because it's the job that I signed up for. They're at the counter, okay. Today, a chance to surprise her kids. I hope he doesn't know. My son works at Wendy's and the lady he stayed with, the family he stayed with, um, hooked it up to um, surprise him to say I'm coming home. My daughter has just dropped off and they think that they're going to be picked up from my friend to go pick me up at the airport. Hey! Hey, bud. Hello. <laughs> As family and friends looked on, oh, I love you so much, bud. Oh, I love you too, mom. A tearful um, reunion. Another chapter is finished. I don't have to leave my kids again oh. ever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what do you want to do when I come home? Netflix. <laughs> Get a drive. I love you too, sweetie. For these kids, it didn't really matter what they did. We're getting pizza down tonight. We are? But that they could finally share it with their mother. In Lebanon, Matt Rist, CBS 21 News. here and we just can't see them yet so we're both kind of dying right now. Long wait for dad to come home but I think the kids miss them the most. <laughs> that I've been told knows this song to get it started. So if, if this guest gets it started, if you've ever heard it before, I guess maybe you can jump in and join them. Everybody get real quiet.
reunion for a Minnesota soldier and the dog she rescued in Iraq. Their story touched people all around the world and today after months apart Army Specialist Gwen Bieberg and her dog Ratchet are back together. Maggie Newland has their story from Fridley. It's a good story. A story of friendship forged in war, of separation and determination, of overcoming obstacles. It's a wonderful story. Hey Ratchet! The story of a soldier and her dog began on the battlefields of Baghdad and reached across the world. I got a letter from a woman in Italy who wrote to me and said how deeply it had touched her, the story of Ratchet. Come here, baby. Ratchet was rescued from a pit of burning trash on Mother's Day and became Army Specialist Gwen Bieberg's best friend in Iraq. He was like my own little personal comfort, you know, just fuzzy little love that I could go to any time that I felt down or lonely. Not only was he therapeutic for her, you know, she was his lifeline, so to speak. Gwen couldn't bear to part with Ratchet when she left Iraq, but sending him home became a battle in itself. People in charge would not let him leave. Twice, she says, the Army blocked her attempts to get Ratchet to Minnesota. But with the help of the SPCA and a website petition started by a friend, Ratchet's story gained international support. I thought it would get some attention. I didn't think it would get so much attention. And in October, on the third try, Ratchet made it to the United States to stay with Gwen's parents and wait for her. It's a great idea. And long after the camera lights stop flashing, they will simply be a woman and her dog back home in Minnesota. She's going back to school in September. She's already gotten accepted. Gwen wants to train Ratchet as a therapy dog. We'll go to schools, VAs, hospitals, anywhere where he can be of use to other people and spread his doggy love. It's just the next chapter. There's, there's good things ahead. Their story is far from over. Good boy. In Fridley, Maggie Newman.
Hey, Deanda. Deanda. What are you doing? <laughs> What's up, man? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, man. Good to see you. I'm back, baby. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> Good up there. <laughs> Thank you. You're good, man. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I know that name. Oh, my <laughs> Say hi to your mom. Hi, Jimmy. Deanna Mid. Back. Oh, man, we have all that shit, too. It's plastic and shit. Plastic and boxes. Get moving it. Get moving. Get moving it. Just haul it. Can you haul it, man? <laughs> 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 you know, I think we surprised her this time. <laughs> How do you like that, honey? Look. You want one of these potatoes? Huh? You want one of these potatoes? Okay. Get the move! Oh my god! Oh my god! You did this again to me! Why can I ever get into it? Why can I ever meet you at the airport? I just want. I just want. I was never called in. Originally, he was supposed to be in at Friday. about 1 o'clock. Oh, no, no, that oh. was never scheduled. <laughs> oh, no. Originally, that was being at 1 o'clock yeah. today. Oh. We, we made that up from but He the had beginning. to take a cab from the airport in Saline to Austin the air, because their plane broke. Your plane broke? Oh, uh, it, it, it never came. It is like malfunctioned or whatever. Oh, so, they, so they... Offered us a ride to Austin. So he got in a little after five and settled one o'clock this afternoon. Oh my god! And you were nervous when you came in on Friday? Never. That was a front the whole time. Oh my god! Yeah, oh, I'm looking. Like oh. <laughs> I'm 
I'm shaking. Just today. No, no, he surprised me. Even for her. <laughs> I'm shaking. No, I had no idea. Taylor, I'm shaking. This is it's a videotape. It's a video. Oh, how, okay, it's videotaping. Okay, get over there. Get over. I'm gonna get up above. Get outside. over there. Get over there. Mom, mom, get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Oh my god. Bob. Well, how come you don't match this? <laughs>